Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of the Show Buddy Show and today I'm joined by my good friend Trisha and Rupert and RJ and I'm so excited to learn what they do to spread kindness in the community and help to save the environment. So stay tuned. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Sure Body Show. Today we have a guest in the studio and I'm so excited to be joined by Trisha from Cans for Books. Cans for Books has in the first two months already recycled over half a ton of cans and Cans for Books wouldn't be Cans for Books if those cans would not be buying books. So Trisha Gooseby, you are the founder of Cans for Books. You have given out over 500 books back to the community to spread kindness and you also have Rupert and RJ there. So tell us a little bit about what is Cans for Books and how did you even get started? Yeah, so Rupert, RJ and I are all about kindness in the community and Cans for Books was a way that we can give back to our community with educational resources. So what we did is that we asked our neighbors if we could have their CRV recyclables because we're in California. And um, you know what, our community heard us and they were so kind and they gave us the recyclables and it was just amazing. So what we did is we took it to the CRV center and then we used that money to then go thrift for books because books, just because they're used doesn't mean that they're still not good. Right. And so we got, and as an educator, I know that the good books sometimes are in the Goodwill and the thrift store. So we went and we got all these books and then we just recently had our free book event this past weekend. Yes, you had your first free yeah. book event. Yeah, I heard that. And you guys also were like having the, the show yes. body spoke to talk about keeping the, the plastics out of the ocean. But Trisha, what I'm really interested in is, mm -hmm. how did you even get started with that, right? You're only two months in and you're making such a huge impact already mm -hmm. in the community. Yeah, so um, we, Rupert and RJ and I really think about kindness. And so we think about how can we spread kindness in our acts of service. Mm -hmm. And so one of those ways was the cans. Um, my roommate <laughs> loves sparkling water, so that kind of sparked <laughs> the idea for us. It's to very start European, collecting. very European. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we um, we just started collecting. And then next thing we know, um, after the end of December, we were at 3,599 cans, 823 plastic, and 251 glass which got us over $200. And it was amazing how our community came together to really work together um, to support our children and the children's books being brought back into the community. Yeah, I love, I love how you guys are just making such an impact in the community, really spreading that kindness and really bringing the proceeds back towards education, right? So like what is more important, you know, to have really free access to all those resources there? And, and what are the communities you, you work with? We're here in San Diego, so you work with a couple of different neighborhoods there. So yeah. how is that? How is the community <laughs> getting involved? Yeah, so right now it's just been networking between us three. And um, we are collecting in North Park, we're collecting in South Park, we're collecting in the military housing in Point Loma. We're collecting in PB, honestly, anywhere close to the downtown area. Um, and then also, if you do a schedule pickup, if you're in North County or South Bay, then we'll go pick that up on the weekends to kind of bring that back. Our goal is to really spread out into those different areas. So they have their own little um, Cancer Books initiative in their mm -hmm. own localities. But for right now, as we get started, because again, it's only been two months, so we're going into month it's three amazing. here. It's okay, yeah, yeah. Like two months only, and you've did already so much, 500 books back to the community. That's just so incredible. So how, how do the kids get access to those books? How yeah. does that work? So right now, um, we just had our first free book event. So mm -hmm. that's where I was in military housing, and then in North Park, where I just had these books nicely wrapped, um, which was wrapped by our community. Um, friends in the community helped wrap these. So again, working together as a collective, as a community to support each other. Um, and they were able to just pick a book and just be surprised when they unwrapped it. Um, and then what we'll be doing moving forward is that we're gonna be filling in those little libraries. Rupert is gonna have a little reading stump that um, will also fill in the books there into communities that need the little libraries. Um, 
and then also just bringing it to like the homeless shelters, just really making sure that the community has these free educational resources and reading is the biggest educational resource you can give to them. Right, yeah, reading is, is, is really important and uh, it's, it's so great to see like and uh, you know in our, in our book Shore Bodies in the Plastic Ocean like we have a big recycling you know legend in there, Ryan who started his own recycling company when he was three years old and for us it's always just you know so great to see how recycling is bringing such positivity and such an impact back mm -hmm. to the community. So really love and, and, and see everything you, you guys are, are really doing so yeah. and, and the kindness spreading so like let's talk about kindness right yeah. it's, it's, it's crazy time still out there and we all know we need to be kind but how do we how do we actually be kind how do we make sure we are kind to each other in the community and and all that so how, how do you spread the kindness yeah well first we need to be mindful sometimes we need to be mindful of what we are saying and how we are acting and that's how we can show kindness um, by our actions and how we communicate with others and mm -hmm. so with Rupert and RJ especially Rupert because he has his library and he loves reading oh, well, yeah. I love this guy <laughs> he's so awesome so he actually has this found this book it's called um, you can make the world a happier place be kind and it's 125 kind things to say and do and so Rupert sometimes likes to go into this book and just think like okay what kind of act of kindness that I haven't done yet that I can do today. And so... So do you have some tips for yes. us to share today? Oh, with I us? Do. How, so how do we Rupert be kind? Rupert over here yeah. has little bookmarks to kind of just show different ways. One being, um, you can read a book to someone who hasn't learned how yet. So the mm. older kids, always, you can yeah. read to your um, younger siblings or even with social distance. You know, I was thinking about it. You can have little reading parties in the neighborhood. Just sit at the end of your driveway, bring out the books, and you can read to each other across the street in any kind of capacity while still being socially distanced, of course. Um, and then there's some other ways. Oh, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. Valentine's Day is coming up. That mm -hmm. is not the best time to be kind. I mean, we should be kind every single day yes. of the year, but this is, you know, let's, let's yeah. be extra kind. Yeah, and especially during Valentine's Day, you know, some people might, that might be a holiday where they either can get really happy or maybe a little sad. So we were looking at this book and it said, um, why don't you make a sign to put in your window? Right. And that's and something that anyone can see walking by. Yes, absolutely. And I remember, and uh, you fans out there might have seen the episode where we were decorating the, the front yard, right, with the shore bodies and kind of like doing that. That's also being kind, being kind in the community and, yeah, spreading the love. Yeah, and so, um, you know, just putting a sign out there or even if you were to write a note to your neighbor and leave it on the doorstep, the cool thing is that if you look around your house, you can find anything to make a note or a sign. And that's what I love yeah. about you guys, right? You're not like, all right, let's be kind. Let's go on Amazon and buy in happy be everyone be kind sign that we put down in our front yeah. yard. No, you guys actually, you know, the cans for books is using the recyclables and providing books to the community, mm -hmm. but it goes so much it further, does. right? Like being kind, that sign, like we, we can make that from, from anything, yeah. right? Like from all the items we have around the house. Exactly. So for instance, Rupert and RJ, for the books, we used recycled paper to wrap all the books and use recycled tissue paper, anything that was maybe already used but it had available, we use that to wrap. Um, also, we love to take uh, these cardboard boxes over here. We all are shopping online. That's yeah. that's what we're doing uh, this time of the year. Yeah. So everything comes in boxes. So, yeah. uh, so we just use this kind of box and yeah. turn it into a sign. Yeah. So what you can do is you can, uh, with adult help, of course, is uh, get some scissors and you can cut off one of the tabs on the box and use that as a sign. Especially cardboard, it's a little more sturdy, so you can put it up and on um, everything. Or just any paper, recycled paper. You can use a backup paper that you can use, but cardboard's nice because then it lasts a little bit longer. Yeah, I really tell everyone. So what will we write on there? So should we make a sign yeah, right now? let's do it. Let's make a sign. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. That's cool. I'll, I'll take Rupert. Okay, hold He on. wants to sit with me for a little bit. <laughs> we'll How put doing, bud? RJ right there. All right, so today I have um, some markers. And 
really you can use anything <laughs> out, anything that you have. Um, I love these. These are like these scented markers. Uh, you want to smell? Mm. <laughs> Rupert, uh, you know, scents and natural scents too are also better uh, with the just getting the aroma, you know, just getting all the senses. Getting and, all the senses <laughs> yeah. in there. Like when all the senses are happy and in line, then it's easy to spread kindness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know what? Um, I was thinking about it. Rupert and I and RJ are really big about smiling, but sometimes that's a little hard right now with the mask. And so we were kind of thinking about like a sign that could kind of bring that smile back or um, give a little chuckle, you know? Like yeah, let's little... let's make the people smile. Yeah. What, so, what are we gonna write on hmm, our sign, Trisha? Let's see. Well, I don't know, do you know any good jokes? Um, why does a seagull fly over the sea and not the bay? I don't know why. Because it would be a bagel. <laughs> that is pretty good. I feel like we should definitely write that. Let's All write right. it down. Let's spread okay. kindness. Let's spread happiness. And uh, yeah. Some, you know, sometimes telling a joke really lightens the mood and brings that kindness. You know, we're in a time where we can get serious pretty quickly, especially with COVID and all that. You know, hoopla, but if a joke can bring us smile, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Which reminds me, we have you gonna make this oh, side. Yes. Um, which reminds me, Sammy, big shout out to you, our show buddies, uh, Ocean Ambassador Sammy Vance. She is really, really big on smiles, and she has a way. Um, she's sending smiles to people because she really believes, you know, everyone needs to smile. So, Sammy, if you if you're looking at this and watching this, uh, big shout out to you. Um, keep doing what you do, it. it's awesome, and keep spreading the joy, and keep spreading the smile. So yeah, we're here to spread kindness, um, and it's really really exciting um, to, to have Rupert, RJ, and you, Trisha, here. Yes. So what, what's next for, for Cans for Books? What's coming up? You guys are only two months in and you have donated over 500 books back to the community yeah. by literally using recycles, right? Like we are only making stuffed animals after the recyclables. You actually giving something back to the yeah. community. It's so amazing. So our next step is to get um, kind of like a mobile uh, kind of like recycling center that can go and what you can do is you can recycle your recyclables with your family and then pick a book from the recycling center. It'll be like a mini version of what we would love to do in a long-term thing of having a family-friendly recycling and educational center. So in the meantime, until we get to that point, um, well, we're going to still collect recyclables. We're going to fill in those little libraries throughout the community. We're going to talk to local businesses to help sponsor Rupert's Reading Stump to get those into the communities that don't have little libraries and then bring those books and especially all the book donations that we've gotten are amazing. So we're gonna start filling that into the communities and making sure that they always have a book as a resource, that there is never a time where there's no resources available to the community. Love that, love that, this is so great. So how is our sign doing? We're spreading love and kindness to the community, getting everyone involved and really, yeah, improving this world together is really great. And Trisha, thank you so much for, for, for you guys coming yes. in, joining today, thank telling the story. Us. Absolutely love this and yeah, really want to see, you know, Cans for Books. Check it out. We're going to put the links in the description and everything. And uh, it's going to be really exciting to see your journeys yeah. and, and Rupert's and Audrey's journey. Oh, another point I forgot to add. The most important part, all the plastic proceeds, that money is going to go towards getting shore buddies in the plastic ocean because we need to make sure that that also is getting spread throughout the community. And what better way than to use the plastic proceeds to then buy the book about plastic ocean to then show the children what could happen if we don't recycle. Exactly. So really a nice little incentive, you know, to recycle all your plastic, plastic bottles, turning into something good. And yeah, I just love how you get the community involved yeah. and you know, turning this really into a movement. That's yeah. what it is. We are as a collective and we work best when we work together. Thanks everyone tuning in. We'll see you soon. We put the links, everything in the description. Check them out, Cans for Books. Trisha, thanks again for coming Thank and uh, yeah, excited to follow your journey. Thank you for having me and can't wait to see what the future has for both of us. <laughs>